This is Robot Shakabe, and uh, I'm gonna do some commentary for these videos. I had some commentary while I was playing Viscount, but uh, all you could hear was the buttons and the joystick. You couldn't really hear my voice, so I'm gonna redo it. <clears throat> Basically, what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to throw, um, I don't know, the hurricane, hurricane shot in the air. I don't know what it's called exactly, the photon array or something. Uh, but I keep doing that and I try to dash in afterwards. If you super jump, you can still, you know, dash in afterwards. So I just keep throwing it out and waiting for him to be under me, like right there. And see, I was going for the cross up right there, but he dashed under me and started a nice hack combo. Yeah, to do that, you just you can cancel the gunshot and to assist the the team super assist or whatever. So it's really easy and an effective combo for a lot of West Coast. Especially if you have the right team. So right here, I've just uh, I like to I mapped my um, far right button on my stick, the bottom right button to um, low and medium, and then it helps me uh, dash. And then I just like pretty much hit the far right button on my stick, like the button to the right of Roundhouse, and then I press hard, like right there. I did it to start the combo and. Uh, Instead of pressing two buttons and then one that like, you would have to do, you just have to press one button and it becomes a lot faster of an overhead. But um You could uh you could also do it with light kick, but you have to use uh a different button because if you use light and medium to do the dash, you can't do the light kick immediately. You have to use medium hard to do the dash and then the light kick. So I have the top right button mapped to low or uh, to medium and hard and then I press that button and then immediately light kick and whenever I dash downward in the air and it becomes a really fast overhead and then um, for like the ROM combo I'll use well I don't ever do the ROM online because it's way too hard but for the ROM combo right there I use it again to start this combo um, but for the ROM combo you use the same same thing. I use the, the bottom right button, which is mapped to low medium, which comes out as a dash in the air. Like right there, I did it again, but it didn't work. And then I just get chipped out for the win. I mean, I don't even think that's uh, Viscon's real team. I think he just plays random, not random team, but he plays a bunch of different teams online. He's got a lot of matches, man. I don't know how these guys get this much matches because I thought I played a lot. I play at least, I don't know, once, maybe every other night for, I don't know how long, but, and then I don't, I don't really go to, uh, I mean, I go to local kind of hookups sometimes, but not as much as, you know, Viscott does with all his, because uh, I always see him on streams and stuff, so, I mean, I'm not trying to say that. He spends too much time, it's just, I guess I don't have enough time for it. But anyways, I usually play late late at night because uh, there's less lag, of course, after midnight, so. And then I notice most of the, uh, most of the higher ranked players play really late too. I mean, uh, a couple of nights ago I was playing, I didn't know they were the number two and three ranked guys, but I was playing them like back and forth in ranked matches, and then I, I got my ass with so many times, and I was like, how good are these guys? So I tried to find them on the on the leaderboards, and there they were, number one, th two and three. I think the number one guy was like a German or something at the time. I wonder if that guy's actually that good, or it's just some kind of some kind of bullshit rank that he. Uh, you know, had one of his friends help him level up or something. Oh yeah, this is a really bad laggy match. So you gonna fight or what? Yeah, even though I played this late at night, sometimes you still get matches that are unbelievably laggy. Like this right here is not even playable. Like the only character right now that's playable is Sentinel because you can mash his combos really easily and they do enough damage to where you don't need to go for the hard ones. I think I switch into Sentinel real quick, yeah, because it was so laggy. Yeah, you just do that shit, and then I'm mashing really hard right here.
Yeah, just do the foot and then the S in these lag matches. And, oh. Oh, why did I go for that combo? <laughs> Look how slow I'm playing. Oh, I got it. I can't believe I got it. She better be dead. Yeah, she's dead. Oh, God, why didn't that connect? Maybe I should use Fierce instead of Jab, Command Grab. Like, that combo he did right there takes a lot of skill. <laughs> oh, see, I'm trying to dash out of there, yeah. That's a bullshit trick that more people need to use to get out of X-Factor. Just fly and then dash the hell out of there. See, I can't do it because of the lag right now, but... But yeah. Yeah, and then that always works online. Just if they're in the air, you do that fucking move. And I did it again for some reason. I don't know why. I shouldn't have wasted it. And then he just does something stupid, so. So basically, if it's really laggy, you just pick Sentinel. Because his combos are too easy. And they do too much damage. I mean, he's nerfed with his health, but it's not like he's that much worse, you know? I mean, he'll just die in one combo now instead of two. I mean, I, I was playing against people that killed Sentinel with one combo, like, where I'm from, so... And, you know, it wasn't even that big of a deal to me because... There's a couple people around uh, where I live that take uh, full advantage of the DHC glitch, so... If my Sentinel gets hit once, they were dead, you know, before the patch, so now it doesn't even, doesn't make too much of a difference. Just makes the projectile wars a little bit, a little bit harder, because uh, I can't get hit by as many projectiles. I'm trying to put Wesker on my team just because, you know, all the videos and plus it's Wesker. I don't like picking uh, characters I don't think are cool, you know, like. Oh man, I'm getting slow down on my video. Oh no, this is a lag. This is just laggy. I thought my computer was shitty. Yeah, it's the same guy. Oh man. <clears throat> Let's see, I picked Sentinel again because... Oh man, I now I remember. I was mashing so hard right here. And I thought it was so funny that the combo still worked. Yeah, that's, that's not the video messing up. That's the lag. It's all just lag and <laughs> you have so long with that low low medium to confirm it into S that if it doesn't if it's blocked I just cancel on the flight, you know? Even online it's easy to confirm. Which is pretty pretty ridiculous. If it hits you pretty much kill him. If it doesn't, you can start some overhead bullshit. Oh, right in my dick. Robot dick. Why did I call him out? You see, I almost lose two characters just because he can do bionic arm twice. And so I switched to Magneto and let these guys build some help. That right there was pretty lucky. Um, I didn't know that worked, but I'm going to try to start using it as much as I can. Oh, I think this is a ridiculous 5 meter combo, yeah. Yeah, I fucked up, but I really wanted to kill him because I was pissed off about how much life it took from me. Oh, I should have called the drones. Yeah, see, Magneto was in the spot where uh, my drone assist usually would be. That's why I called him out instead. Because, you know, you gotta leave Sentinel last X Factor 3, you know. Yeah, I'm just messing around here. I'm just... No 
See, I probably got one more match here. Wow, I man, I was a, I was a fourth lord, and then I played, um, I think I played Doomsday, the number three rank guy, a bunch, like I don't know, I put a couple of the videos up, um, but I played him, and then he he brought me down to Ranger just because I played him like ten times in a row, and then. It's so easy to get your rank back up just by playing randoms. I think this guy's pretty good. Yeah, this is this guy's pretty decent. Picks a pretty good team. I would take out Doom. The only reason I pick Doom, like I don't think Doom's good. I just think he's cool. Dink, 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 dink. And then switch out. Yeah. I always do this combo because all the meter you can build with Magneto Flight, you know. And then you can always get Doom back in. <clears throat> it's, it's better to go for the Magnetic Tempest combo, but it's really hard online, so I don't go for it. I just go for the the knockdown in the air into the, the uh, Shockwave combo. <clears throat> That's not gonna hit. I mean, the Doom Mirror match is, at least as far as I know it, which probably isn't as well as a lot of other people, but um, it seems to be about who can dash in or who's the, who gets the block stun off of their projectiles, and then from there, that that Doom's at the advantage, which, you know. Oh, that was a pretty nice counter. I could have canceled in the flight, but I think I was too late at that point. You can, I'm pretty sure you can cancel a Ford hard into flight. So, you know, in case you're about to run into a beam. Yeah, and that right there, the dash after the the uh, foot dive is, is hard to uh, react to online. Um, it's really easy offline. If, if you see somebody, if you connect with a foot dive against like an air opponent, um, you can almost always react and dash up medium punch in the air and then you know, land on the ground and start, you know, like low, medium, and then into S for the launcher and then do your regular air combo. You know, I'm trying to do this uh, training mode thing that I saw. It's that with Sentinel. It's you do the you fly into H and then you unfly and then on your way down you press medium punch. Yeah, medium. Yeah, medium punch, I guess. It doesn't really matter what you call it in this game, but medium and then you jump cancel out to jump hard and S and if you do it right it'll be a four hit combo or four overheads in a row you know I saw it in some video one of those one of those streams they have up all the time right there that's a good that's a good combo I found out the the jump hard that right there it uh, it leaves the opponent in a lot of hit stunts so if you catch him out of the air you can almost always combo, you can almost always land and then combo low, uh, low medium, and then into low hard, and then into S the launcher. Right here, I, I uh, thought I was just going to be able to block the whole time, but it came pretty close. But yeah, I turned on my X Factor and I realized he didn't have enough life to even match up, enough red life to even match mine. Well, as the end of those videos, uh, I'll probably try to upload just videos of me versus Mighty Lords whenever I play them. But uh, see you guys later. Take it easy. And subscribe if you like the video.